of the network is okay. Okay. Good evening. Happy weekend. We are cooking jollof rice. How is your Saturday going? How is your Saturday going, everybody? Thank you for showing up. Hi, Elisa. I've been busy. I was doing clean up today, Saturday. Oh my gosh. I've been so busy. Uh, so, um, I've decided to make my food quite on time. I finished preparing the necessary things like blending tomatoes and um, I cooked it. So it's just remaining to fry because I want to make jollof rice. I've already parboiled my rice and I already steamed my meat. We have chicken here and um, I have oil. So I'm going to fry it right now. the noise the machine is washing so sorry for that okay Okay guys, so before we get started, I need to block somebody. It's too early for violence. Okay. So, as you can see, I made a live stream. I did not call anybody to come and join. You join at your own will. So, we are not going to tolerate any violence. If you want to post something that is against anybody's will or anybody that will get angry after reading it, don't do it. Because if you do it, you will not like what I'm going to do. Okay? So be nice today. Be nice. Be nice today. So while, um, while we are frying this, I'll continue my dish washing. So the food I made for my husband yesterday, before I went to the party, Darko almost made a live stream to come and <laughs> show you all what I made for him because he loved it so, so much. He loved it so, so much. Oh my goodness. At first, I forgot to tell him that I was making um, dinner for him. Because normally, if I'm not at home, I used to place his dinner on the um, cooker, you know, or on the table where he's going to see it. But yesterday, one was in the oven. And then we went to the birthday party. And after some time, I think 9 o'clock, I remembered, oh my goodness, I forgot to text Darko where I kept his food. <laughs> so I went to my phone to message him. Because he was supposed to be home 8. So I got my phone past 9. And then I was like, oh my goodness, hope he's not going to feel sad. And then when I called him to tell him where the food was, he said he has finished eating. <laughs> I said, but how did you know that it was in the oven? 
He said, uh, he just saw some of the things that were placed on the oven on top of the fridge. Then he, he's like, something is in the oven. And when he checked it and opened it, it was wow. So he wanted to make a live stream to tell everybody, look what my wife prepared. But <laughs> how many people will be watching it? Oh my goodness. So today we'll be making jollof rice, guys. How is your Saturday going, guys? So those days, since um, Ramadan is over, we're going to bed on time now. Because Darko goes to work um, um, 11 now, sometimes 10, depending. And then he comes home 8. So our time of sleep has changed. We don't have to wait for Darko to return by 12.30 a.m. Oh my goodness. So this morning, Majesty woke up late, so I took that time to, you know, have some me time because Darko has already left for work. I went to the bathroom, taking shower, and then I sat in Majesty's bathtub. <laughs> I turned on the water, I just sat there, like, I was just relaxing. Oh my gosh, it was nice without anybody disturbing me. It was really, really nice. So, after spending like almost one hour in the bathroom, guys, Majesty woke up and we had shower together. And then I started my cleaning things. Cleaning the house, doing the laundry, folding laundries, and so on and so forth. It's raining here in Delaware, USA. Oh, blessings. We wish it would be raining here all the time. We're still experiencing sandstorm. You remember yesterday before I was going to the birthday party, I told you I didn't spray my laundry because of the sandstorm, right? So I just kept the laundry in, that, um, in the um, laundry bag with hope maybe in the evening it will stop um, sandstorming. And then when I come, when I get, when I got home, Darko has already sprayed the laundry. I was like, did the sandstorm stop? He said, no, it's just little bit. There's this sandstorm. So what do we do with the laundry? We should leave it here. So those were the laundry. Before I brought them out today, I was just... <laughs> I was just um, removing the dust from it and I folded them. Yeah, first time I folded my laundry without leaving it on the bed for five days. So now, after cooking... I can have all the rest knowing that the house is clean and food is ready. Bless Mother's Day. Is there Mother's Day again? You are a good cook. Even in a small space, I would struggle. <laughs> what to do, my dear? We have to manage what we have. So I want the meat to turn brown. Uh oh. <laughs> not yet turned brown. You are not good in reading comments. Yeah, you are right. You should come and be reading the comments. Read it out so that I can hear you. Thank you for your assistance. Over Sabi. Tomorrow is Mother's Day. Wow. Happy Mother's Day, everyone. Every mother here. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Spend quality time with your family. And what I do on my live stream, you don't have a family. You should do what you're telling me, my dear. Hmm? Thank you so much. I will listen to you after spending quality time with your own family. Okay. You didn't give Darko his gown again, Smiles. Which gown? I said I was going to give him hoodie.
And besides, this is not for men. This is for women. If I say something, you should listen very, very well, my dear. So avoid miscommunication and avoid you calling the other person a liar. Woo! So today I finished my Ogbono and Okra soup. Man, that soup lasted for me almost one month. I was eating it small, small. Remember the soup was filled in this plate. And today, that it was supposed to finish, that was the day Majesty ate. Can you imagine this boy? When I cooked it, he refused to eat. But today I made it, the last food, he was eating it. Those children are unpredictable. <laughs> I wasn't even feeding him, he was feeding himself. <laughs> anyway. So this is my rice already parboiled. So let's check the not yet brown. Not yet brownish. This week I have been doing a great job by washing um by washing my juicer immediately after making juice for majesty <laughs> i feel so proud of myself very 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 proud of myself and so some of my followers that are not that have not been watching my live streams some of them are busy with work, some of them are sick, so many things happening. I just pray that God will see them through. Just for them to know that I have them at heart, so I'm always remembering them in my prayer. Imagine having five children and, and two of them are being very picky eaters. My sister, God knows I cannot handle that one. <laughs> oh my goodness. And you know, the funny thing is that when Majesty was little, I was cooking okra. I was making this swallow of a thing. I was feeding him swallow. He was eating. He was eating everything. Even some people were like, this baby is too little to eat this kind of hard food, blah, blah, blah. And then some people were like, ah, so that the baby would get used to it, blah, blah, blah. And then now, <laughs> and then now it is opposite. Oh my goodness. Okay. What kind of rice do you use? The Indian basmati rice. When are you going to have another baby? Ha ha ha. Can I ask you why are you laughing? Before I answer your question. Because you know you were asking the wrong question, huh? I don't know why toddlers, if they are watching cartoon, they don't sit down. They will, be, they will be roaming about, climbing the chair, climbing the table, sit down, carry their, their, their finger food, <coughs> cough, jump, 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 make things. Oh my goodness, this is what Majesty is doing. He's climbing on the chair, climbing, climbing. children they like scattering the house Majesty saw me cleaning and then he went back to scatter the toys I arranged when I caught him I gave him eyes come on Shiba <laughs> oh. and he ran away he ran away I said no now come and scatter Mr. Scatterer is it a crime for your mother to stay <laughs> to sit down without doing anything eh <laughs> oh. 
Thank you, Gloria. I've been in bed sick for months, but your lives lift my spirit. Thank you for your prayers. I love you. Hey, yeah. Chai. Honestly speaking, my dears, I was just, I was just like, oh my goodness, my followers, some of them are going through a lot. And even when they have some time, they still come and check my previous live stream to know what's up, to know what they missed. So the least I could do is just to, you know, say a word of encouragement to them. It's not easy. Stop screaming. So it's brown now. We can turn it around. Okay, I see what I'm doing. Mr. Scatra, I know, right? Don't mind him. But trust me now, once I I see him um, putting something that was in order, out of place. But just to come here, he'll be running. You know the way he was running to the park? He'll be running. Oh. After I run, I say, if you finish running, come and pick this thing up. Easy. Come and pick this thing up. Go, 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 go. Go out. <coughs> Have you finished watching? I want to eat, eat. You want to eat? Have you finished the french fries I made for you? Huh? So I fried a lot of french fries for him and he's been eating it. Someone that doesn't like it, he's been eating it. I just go and watch. Go, go out from the kitchen. Where's your bottle? Where's your bottle? Let me give you mix so that you leave this kitchen. Where's your bottle? Okay, here. Come. Come. Here you go. He has not drank milk to, um, throughout today, guys. <laughs> so, this is his first time of drinking milk today. At least he tried. This is 5.51, almost 6 o'clock. I love how you are always being yourself. I love your strength. Thank you. Thank you for your positive compliments. Hey, Sister Kim Bryan. How are you? Good to see you in the comments. <laughs> Happy weekend. Hi, Nurse Ruby. Don't worry, he's just been a kid as he is. They come around when hungry. I know, right? That was how he did and he finished all the french fries with ketchup I made for him. I know, I stopped stressing myself. He doesn't even like the probiotic um, cream, yogurt. So I just make it, turn it into a milk for him and pour in his bottle. It's been said that you Nigerian women are used like a slave by white men to go live in order to make money for them. Hmm. Hania Drates. It's obvious you have Hania in your bum bum. And you are also helping us to make the money. So if you don't want us to make the money, why are you watching us if we are making money for the white men? Huh? Why? You are black, right? You are black. I believe your ancestors are black too. Me and you, our ancestors are black, right? Oh, those. They sold Mama. us to the white people. Oh, those. So go and solve the problem with the white people, not me. I am not the problem. Oh, okay? Eat, eat. I am not the problem. Oh, okay. 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 Go and tell your father oh, why did he sell you guys out or why did he sell us out oh, to the white eat. people? So when you get an answer from your father, you can come back to me. Because I wasn't there when they sold us as slaves. So if you have a problem with me, you go help the transformer. Okay? Here is not for the racist people. Excuse me, Majesty. I'm making this for you.
Majesty is crying. Nobody should talk about his crying. If you talk about his cry, I'm gonna block you. I won't let you to talk about him. I'm giving it to you. Take. Say thank you, mommy. Say mommy. Oh. Say mommy. Oh, Anna. So it's almost done. Almost done. Oh my goodness. Slave, slave, slave. And you are a slave to a racist too. Slave, slave, slave. If we are slaving, then what are you? Slave, slave, slave. You guys don't used to use eye to see black women that are married to white people or Asian people or Indian people or whatever color of the person. You always see color, 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 color. But you don't see the love they share. You don't see it. You don't see the moment. What you see is color, race, 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 slave, 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 slave. And if the person you're watching is a slave, why are you watching a slave? Because you're also a slave. Right? My goodness. And how old are you again? Thinking that way? Shame on you. Please go and check the history of slave before coming here to write nonsense. So if you say we Nigerians are slaves, do you know your roots? Where are you from? Because you're actually from somewhere. Right? You're actually from somewhere. So if me, Nigerian, is a slave and I'm a black woman and you are a black woman from another place, you are actually a slave. Thank you so much. Every day you are seeing race on people. Okay. Just to do this for my desk, not to enter the kitchen. A little bit hot. Don't mind them, very racist coming. I know, don't worry. I know how to put them in their place. I know how to put them in their place. Why are you letting that get under your skin if you feel it's not true? And why are you commenting about it if you feel it's not true too? You should have shut up and watched. So why are you commenting? Majesty, take. So my meat is done. Black people will not be slaves if their black ancestors did not sell them out. Go and know that fact first before you come and put your racist comments here. I said what I said. Out of greediness, Black people sold out their own people. Out of greediness, black people did so many things to their people. Okay? Okay? And I think I kind of like this, this new, new life that the so-called white people you all are calling brought. Because before, black people were killing twins. Before, um, women mutilation. Um, uh, evil forest. And um, so many things happening, guys. Worshipping idols. But then they brought um, uh, religion. For those that truly know whom they are worshipping. If you know Jesus Christ, you worship him in truth and in spirit. At least so many things have changed. We don't, be we don't belong in all those things. If you are calling me a slave, are you not a slave? You are using what the white people produced. White people produced phone. White people made Facebook. They brought internet. What else did the white people bring? Wearing of clothes, because before, the black people wear leaves. We don't even wear clothes. We go naked. We don't even eat in the plate. We have this calabash we eat in, right? No, you don't know your race. Go on, go on, go on, read history very, very well. We eat in the calabash. White people made this. 
making food easier. What else did white people bring? Please, my fellow slave. You must see, you must see racism in everything. Instead of you to just be happy, people are happy. You must see racism. Racism. If you're angry, go and meet your ancestor and ask him why did he sell sell um, their people out. So I'm going to cut my onion. I'm going to use this oil that I use in frying chicken. Mama. Hmm? You okay? Excuse me, let me see what my dad still wants. Which one? Okay. I'll go, let me do this to my dad. I'll come and meet you. I'm even tired of telling people to stop racism. Continue racism. If you come to my side there, eh, I will tell you what will hurt you. Continue racism. Oh. Don't stop. Imagine in olden days in Africa, if you do something wrong, they will kill you immediately or they will do sacrifice. They will bury some people as a form of sacrifice to cleanse them from their sins. I think some people still perform those kind of things up till now. Yeah, it's true. We're worshipping idols then. Some people are still worshipping it now, though. Yeah, it's true. The white people brought religion. And thank God they did. I have not seen God, but I believe he exists. At least it's better than burying people alive to, to, to make them free from their sins. It's better. I'm not saying the, the white people too are perfect. Neither are we perfect too. But just see love. See love. Let love be higher than everything you are seeing. Let it be higher than the, the pain, the sorrow, the regrets, the, the tribulations. Everything, let love be bigger than that because if you check, nobody is perfect. So if you keep on checking on the past, what has happened in the past, you can never move forward. But if you bring up this kind of topics, my dear, I will take you back. I will take you back to the things you don't want to hear. And it is true. You are calling Nigerian girl slave because she's married to a white man. And you too, you are slave because you are, you are using what the white people created. Yes. Rubbish. Mm. The people will not be thanking God for for development and technology, you'll be depending on the nya 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 If you want to tell me about racism, if you have money, book a flight ticket, come to Kuwait, come to my house, and tell me this thing you're telling me in the comment section. Then, then I will know you have the guts. But now, what I know you have is shit. You know the shit I poop in the toilet? That is what you have. Do not stop racism. Continue with racism. Continue with racism. Okay? Uh huh. Where said glory, love conquers all. Exactly, my sister. If there's no love, you think anybody can move forward. We will never move forward. We will always remember what someone has done for us. 
has done to us in the past. We will never move forward. We will always remember what our fathers did. For example, if your father chastised you as a child, you did something wrong. To you, you'll be like, he's maltreating me. Why is he hitting me? You know? But your father wanted you to do something right. You, you, you will feel like he hates you. You will keep hating him. Hating him all the time. But what matters is that after some time, be like, oh, they are my parents. You just have to love. Forget, forget the bad thing that has happened. Because even them too, they are not perfect. Friends, ex, exes, they have hurt us. But will you stop loving because of what they did to you? No. Even you too, you've hurt someone. All of us have hurt someone in one way or the other. We are not perfect. So what should matter right now is love. Love. Love conquers all. And love should conquer all. We should keep moving forward, not going back. Not going back. We are all sinners, yet Christ still died for us. He's still loving us. Imagine we do one mistake and then he strikes us and we die. What will happen? But we make so much mistakes and he still gives us thousands of chances. So why can't we do it to our fellow humans? We, don't, we, we cannot, and we say we love God. Where, where is the love? You say you love God, but you cannot forgive your, your, your fellow human. That's, that thing they did for you, but you keep offending God all the time. Every day and night, you keep offending him. And he still loves you. He gives you many chances. So many chances. Why do you think after you, you, you feel like you have sinned against him, you go and ask him for forgiveness, and you feel he has forgiven you? Because he is God. He loves us unconditionally. So people say, eh, I'm not God. Though. God said you should do like him. Do like him. That's what he asked you to do. I'm going to use this big pot. Bitterness will make you to dwell in the past. If you keep dwelling in the past with bitterness, you will never move forward, my dear. Until you heal, forgive yourself. Woo! You can never heal again. No? You have to forgive yourself and move on. You must heal yourself and move on. So that you can enjoy the things that he is that he has promised you. If you forgive yourself and move on, you see that this life is sweet. That the one in future is greater than the one that has happened. So let's keep looking to the future. Leave the behind. Let it happen. We don't know what happened. It has happened. It has happened. We're not there when there was slave trade or whatever. We just heard. And we also heard how it happened. It was, if you read some stories, you feel hot. You'll be like, oh my gosh, my ancestors went through this, blah, blah, blah. But your ancestors wouldn't have gone through this if they did not sell your ancestors out. Both the ancestors, both the seller and the buyer, all of them will, will um, answer query from God one day. All of us will stand because the last time I checked, there is no heaven for white people and there is no um, heaven for black people. There is no hell for white or there is no hell for black people. It's the same. It's all in this world. You see white, black, blah, blah, blah. But one thing I know for sure, at the end of the day, when you die or when the trumpet sound or whatever happened, you're no more in this earth, you will give account of how you lived your life on this earth. You will stand before him. Nobody's going to back you up. It's just you and him. So I'm telling you right now, the, the, the best thing for you is to just forgive yourself. Forgive what has happened in the past. You just read you were not there. You were not there when it happened. Just forgive and move on. You hardly forgive somebody that did something bad to you. Not talk about the other. Oh, come on, please. You have to heal. You have to heal. We go to church. They keep preaching church. Um, love, love, love in the church. You are on social media. The people you follow are preaching love, 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 love. You, you, you hear podcasts. They talk about love. You read articles. They talk about love. But your ears are for fancy because you don't want to listen to love. It hurts you when you listen to love. You only, you only, you only um, feel sorry for a victim when they are no more, when they die. When they die, you start showing them all the love you were supposed to show them when they were alive. That is hypocrisy. 
show them the love now that they are alive not when they die you start writing r.i.p fake r.i.p no not good not good you can show love in different ways reach out to people ask them hope you are doing fine i'm checking up on you Oh, they did not invite me to a birthday party. They hate me. I will never talk to them again. You start carrying um, anger on your chest for nothing. Maybe that person is going through some problem you don't know. Maybe they are going through some stress. Maybe they even forgot. Maybe they are doing something. But that does not mean that they don't want to invite you. Or, oh, she did not check up on me. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. You keep, you keep putting anger, anger, anger. See, anything that will make you, when you see someone and you shiv, or when you see someone, be, it doesn't worth it. It doesn't worth it, my dear. You must, you must heal. We are in end time. Anything can happen. Imagine going to hell because of someone you don't like. <laughs> I just poured my onion. You must love. Oh. If you don't want to love, it's your own cup of tea, not mine. Sometimes you don't even know the full story. Somebody will come to you and tell you something about someone. And you'll believe them immediately. Without even hearing the other person's side of story. You just assume they did that. You start hating them. Oh, they said you did this. You did it. You did it. My goodness. How are you sure? Did you hear the other side of the story? And then all of a sudden you've inherited the person's enemy. You've just hated the person for nothing. False accusations. Listen, it's not when you use knife and stab someone that you kill the person. Words hurt. Somebody that did not do anything to you, you just buy the bad story they said about the person. <laughs> Make sure you hear two sides to the story before you believe. And stop, stop condemning people. Stop it. Stop condemning them. And when you see someone trying to be strong, you don't know what what they what they've been through in the past. They've been through a lot in the past and it took them so much time to heal. And that moment they are healing, they are trying to be alive again like a human being. And then you are trying to cause them more heartbreak, more sorrow, more trouble. Oh my goodness. Oh, come on my sister. Where is your conscience? Have you sold it to the devil? Have you sold your conscience to the devil? You don't have human conscience again, human sympathy. So I'm going to pull my tomato. Mama, see. Whether you like it or not, see. hate, sin will always be in this see. world. See. But you better choose where see. you want to stand. See. Where is tissue? Take tissue. Take. Wipe your hands. I'll be teaching my children how to love love i'll teach them how to love that's all i'll teach them and for them never to let anyone take them for granted so mrs racism thank you for bringing up this topic it's actually a good topic you made me to go back to history and if you want to know more read some good articles on google it will take you back to the history and you will know more truth and all of you in the comment section supporting her eh if you don't repent eh eh if you don't repent you know what i want to say you seen evil you are supporting evil eh if you don't repent eh you will never rest eh until you will never know peace until you repent since you see you see evil and you are you are you are painting it oh is it not you will never have peace I'm, i said it i said what i said and somebody will say something that will hurt you so bad very 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 bad except you repent Maybe when you know, you realize the truth, it's even too late. Keep supporting evil. I'm not begging you to change. Keep supporting evil. Continue. 
After all, it's for people like you that Jesus Christ died. Me and you. But I trust not to be stupid like you. So I want to put some carrot because I don't want it to spoil and I don't have green beans. Normally I used to put green beans in my rice, but I'll just peel carrots. So that is just it, guys. AKA Nos Glory. I know they fear you. Look at my eyes. I look as if I took some. I know they fear anybody. Daughter of Grace here. If you talk, you go collect. This is what happens when you know who you are. People have taken me for granted before. That was because I don't know who I was then. But now, hey, oh, she, you go collect. Well done, nice dress. <laughs> Thank you, my sister, or one of my Facebook, one of my Facebook aunties sent it to me, or my Facebook sister. She sent it to me, yo. Oh. Hmm. Yesterday, there was this lady. Actually, she has been messaging me since to send her my address, to send her my address, yeah. And then I told her it's difficult. No, I was actually refusing to send her the address. I was ignoring the message until yesterday. I think for the past one week she has been messaging me for my address. I was ignoring it. The reason why I was ignoring ignoring it was because of the stress I went through the post office the other day. And then she said no, she will send it through DHL so that they'll deliver. I'm like, what do you want to send? She said she was trying to order hair. And then she saw a hair that is gonna fit me. She thought about me. I said, ah. So a person can think about me. Hey, who am mine? Oh yeah, come. Somebody is thinking about me. Somebody is making order, and then they said this one will fit me. Ha! She naked na. That was how I gave her my address. So she said she'll send it through DHL. Guys, do you know what it means for someone to be thinking about you? Hey hey. So my sister, this is it. So I'm wearing love. Oh, I'm wearing the love they sent to me. Ah, it's not easy, yo. Oh. In the world full of evil and somebody remembers you ah as i collected it i just prayed over it i prayed over the gift so oh, before wearing it because sometimes people that don't like you will send you gifts so as far as i have jesus i have something more than gold <laughs> go wear them <laughs> so if you are doing wedding or anything and you collect gifts make sure you pray over the gift oh. because you don't know who is who make sure you pray you cover it in the mighty blood of jesus if you don't know how to pray you are following my page you must learn how to pray you must you must oh It's a good thing to pray, huh? <laughs> oh my goodness, it is well. Don't worry about people. God bless. God bless you too, my sister. God bless you too. Uh -uh. You don't know what it means for somebody like me. There's nothing special about me. Yo. I come on live stream. And more than 100 are watching me. Hey. I'm very grateful. Here. Who am I? I'm very grateful though. Very, very grateful. Even if I'm talking rubbish, they are, they are watching. They are listening. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up, my dear. Try and be independent. Be independent, son. Eh? 
Eh, where? So my tomatoes is still frying. It won't fry too much because I already cooked it and the water dried up. And what do you want, Majesty? Get it, pick it up. I can't come and pick it up for you. Look at this boy. He wants me to leave what I'm doing and come and pick it up. When you need it, you go and get it. If not green beans, use mushrooms if you have. This is what I have, my dear. This is what I have, carrots. I have eggplant, but I don't want to use it in my jello fries. Away, I'm going to add um, tomato paste. I'm going to add tomato paste to it. Well, first of all, let me put my um maggi bouillon because i still have the meat stock there happy mother's day to all the mothers here sincere happy mother's day may god continue to strengthen you and give you more grace to take care of our children because we need grace we need grace <laughs> it's not easy <laughs> We need grace, so and we pray that God will keep us alive to eat the fruit of our labor and to watch our children grow in sound health, good health, respectable, you know, to not just to the parent but also to the society because according to Ephesians chapter 6 verse Two, children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor your father and mother, that your days may be long on earth. May God help our children to keep obeying us. Because sometimes, there are ways children will behave, it will give the parents heart attack. They'll be like, is this my child? Why is this child breaking my heart? Why are they doing things that hurt me? So that is what we need. We ask for God's grace Mama, upon our life, upon the children's life, and it is what. Well. And you'll be the proud mother. Ah, you'll be the one. They'll say, "Are you the mother of that child?" Yes, now. Ah, you'll be proud. Hey, ne, ne, mama, Oh my goodness, you'll be a proud mom. Hmm. You will be a proud mom. Our children will not disgrace us. They will not disgrace us. They will not bring shame to us. They will not bring heartbreak to us. They will be what God has, um, has said they will be. And premature deaths will not be their portion. Okay? Amen. Happy Mother's Day. Keep speaking life into your children. When they get you angry, I know you want to say, stupid boy, stupid girl, don't say it. Ah, you can shout. Oh, but try not to say stupid boy or stupid girl. Because they'll behave like that. Hmm? They'll behave like that. It's what you call your dog that they will answer. So let's, let's, learn to be calling them positive names mm? no matter what i know they will do something at some point to hurt us make us feel sad but not we shouldn't go to the extent of calling them bad names okay okay it is well it is well with us so i have bay leaf i'm going to put some bay leaf here I'm going to put some bay leaf in my jollof rice. All the spices.
when I was growing up, my parents used to call me pet names, nice, sweet pet names. They call me Ada, although automatically I'm Ada. Ada means the first daughter of a family, Igbo family, right? So apart from that, they added another one, Ada Nata Ukwanu, the, the, the first daughter that eats the, 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 the big fat meat or the biggest meat or whatever, I don't know. And, and apart from that, they call me Ada Adobodo Yubo. Adobodo Yubo means I'm going to travel abroad, something like that. And then my late sister, may her so rest in peace. My, my late sister said, Mommy, you like, you like um, Ada so much more than us. So you are calling her Ada Adobodo Yubo, Adobodo Yubo. Now she has traveled abroad. Uh -uh. My mother said, ah, don't be jealous. I love all of you so much. Oh. I've never called you a bad name. I always call you sweet, sweet names. <laughs> and my sister said, but you never called me Obiyomo Obodo Yubo. You always saying Ada Obodo Yubo. Now, Ada has gone abroad. <laughs> so why am I saying this? This is just to remind you to always say sweet, sweet names to your children. That is why when I rebuke these people trying to say bad words about majesty, it's not as if I like picking on them. No. I don't call my children bad names, so don't call them bad names. I'm put, I just put curry and bay leaf. I'm going to put some thyme and some uh, garlic powder. Just little, little. Little, little, okay? Little, little, I just want all of them to give me their, their nutrient, their taste. I don't want it too much. So good to see you live. Please send me notifications when you are live. Oh, I don't know how to do that, but I think you should do it in your end, my dear. You should go to settings up on this live stream up. You will see turn notifications, something like that. If I'm correct. Oh, you don't get notifications. Sorry. Don't worry, I'll show you after much of what I'm cooking later, okay? So that I don't want to be holding the phone off and on. So I'm going to put tomato ketchup, um, I said ketchup, tomato paste. I want to have that radish, whatever. I'm going to try and cook um, fried rice. I've never cooked fried rice in a while. So that you people will see fried rice apart from jollof rice. Don't worry, we'll do it soon. <laughs> I just finally collected the bottle for buying so. my Kenyan friend she is in Kenya I miss her so much even though I don't go to her house all the time but because she's not in Kuwait I miss her what did you say when your bottle fall you pick it up my dear. This is the mixture, okay? Don't worry, I'll show you when I'm done with everything. So, the other tomato, the, <laughs> the other tomato is okay now. It's no more slappy. 
okay i don't want when you're eating my jollof rice you'll be feeling like the tomato is still alive or sour ahead it's no more sour so that was why i i took my time to fry it until the sourness disappears and then i had to pour the um tomato paste just to give my my tomato uh, sorry for the slip of tongue just to give my i know um my you know jollof rice that's colored jollof rice whatever and i tasted it it tasted so nice okay and i'll continue um cutting my carrot <clears throat> Mm. My house smells Nigerian Nigerian. <laughs> okay. My this thing is done wash. Did Majesty come and turn this thing off? My goodness. I just turned this thing off. Oh, when he came here. You see that his small hand? He's always looking for where to press, 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 press it. That's what he's looking for all the time. Guys, if you've never shared my video out before, kindly do it today now. Eh? If you wish to. No harm in asking though. I'm just asking. And thanks in advance. And to those who don't need me to tell them, thank you. Thank you. I'm supposed to be thanking you every day, but you know, I don't always remember. Thank you. Thank you. So I I asked my stepson, his name is Marco. That is Darko's son. I asked him to make a video for me and tell us what was his reaction or what he think when he learned that his father was getting married to a Nigerian woman, of course, a black woman. What was his reaction? Oh my gosh, and this boy made this video sent it to me yesterday guys i can't wait to upload this video this boy is so intelligent oh my goodness you need to hear what he said so for those of you racist people go and hear what a swedish guy said about racism <laughs> oh my goodness he has swedish passport so he's in sweden is a Sweden or Swedish? I don't know what they call them. Well, he lives and works in Vietnam. Why don't you have a stove? Yes, good question. And why don't you have a live stream? Hmm? Go and get a live stream and cook with your stove so that we watch. We watch those that have stove. Stupid question. Did you upload the video? No, not yet. I will upload it later. It was, I cannot tell you what he said. You need to go and watch it by yourself. You need to go and watch it. It was, wow. Like, the boy made me proud. <laughs> I have to send it to Darko at his place of work. And, um... Darko couldn't be more prouder. Okay. So my tomato is cooked already.
I put the the meat stock in there for more extra taste. Some tomato sauce or pasta give heart burns or gastro esophageal reflux symptoms. Yeah, I know, but one can never be too careful. One thing must kill a man. The phone you are using, eh? So many things you are using are harmful to your health, my dear. So many things you are using are harmful, very, very, very harmful to your health. Some of the food you eat, some of the things what, that were produced for you to eat, they are very harmful, okay? So let us eat our gastroesophageal whatever in peace. Mm, we know we are not going to live long in this world. We will still die. We will still die, yo. Mama? Yes? my rice if it is well cooked so my dear it's good to eat healthy most of the time most of the time eat healthy and then little bit of unhealthiness because too much of everything is bad my dear too much of unhealthy food is bad. Too much of healthy food. Sometimes you can never be sure if it is really, really healthy. GMO. <laughs> it's the grace of God that is keeping us alive, guys. Let me tell you the truth. You see the word right now is fucked up. That is why we keep saying, what will eat us, eh, will not come, but what we will eat will come. Eh, so what I eat will not kill me, eh? So I only die when it's my time to die. <laughs> Some people will say I'm too religious. <laughs> you are even using prayer in food. My dear, it has been helping me. <laughs> it has been helping me. to me khaki khaki means poopoo <laughs> so my this thing needs little salt the sound is behind the picture anyone else have that maybe it's the 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 the, the filter if that's the sound you're hearing, I think it's the filter. Sorry for that, huh? show you the sauce I made hey Maje sorry for that I mistakenly turned it off yes baby so this is how the sauce looks like I'm going to allow it to boil 
I'm going to allow it to boil and then after boiling I'm going to pour my rice this rice so this um, sauce should be able to cook the rice although I already cooked the rice half done Oh my goodness. So apparently I'm done cooking. I'm just waiting for this thing to boil. Yay! And my majesty is gonna eat rice. I remember the last time I cooked jollof rice, Majesty ate it so much. So that was what motivated me to make jollof rice today. I didn't put spice so first of majesty. Majesty, come on, come and greet Facebook family. Come, come and say hi. Come. Hi. <laughs> He's doing like this. Hi. Okay, I come. Come, sorry. Before you change your mind, <laughs> he was shouting hi down there. I say hi. <laughs> say how are you? Hope you are doing great. Look at your mouth, Messi. You ate cake. You ate Mama's birthday cake. Cake. How was it? Yummy. 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 Yeah. Where? Are, where is mine? Did you give me? Hmm. Oh, oh, banana. No, I will not give you banana because you're going to oh, make mess. Oh, orange. I will call Bakala to bring orange. Oh, Lenny. You want to see Lenny? Lenny's in Africa. On the road. Isidora, Isidora is in Bosnia. And, and who? Go. Is go. Who? Ooh. Ooh, dog. I... <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, What's that? Love hearts, heart. Oh, heart. Thank you for the heart. Who sent that heart? Oh, <laughs> this is one. A birthday? <laughs> Who sent Cookie. him the hat? <laughs> he recognized the hat. Okay, the hat that was going up. Oh, Robert. <laughs> huh? Uh. Hmm? It's floor. 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 It fell? I'll go get it. Oh, no, no. <laughs> now you tricked me. See? Eh? You tricked me, Majesty. Uh, purple. Huh? Purple. Purple, yeah, you're right. It's purple. A blue. And blue, no. Orange. Oh yeah, it's blue. There's blue and orange. Correct. Correct. You're correct. Blue. Blue. Bye -bye. <laughs> Kiss mama. Ah. <laughs> oh, purple, blue, blue, orange. No, it's red and pink. Pink. Yes. Pink. The red hat and the pink hat sent by Kester. Pink. Say hello, Kester. Pink. Pink. Yeah, pink. Yeah, pink. pink. You're, you're knowing your colors. You're so smart. Ah, <laughs> yeah. Mm. See, pink. See, pink. Biscuit. Where pink. did you see biscuit? Pink. Oh. <gasps> oh. Pink. At Elif's birthday. My mouth is not that wide now. Come on. I now have a wide uh, mouth. Yeah. But you cannot stick this in, in my mouth. Mm? You cannot stick it in, in my mouth. Okay, uh, open, open your mouth. Open your mouth. Open. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Majesty has a big mouth. Yeah, yeah, oh. Pink. Pink. Your car is pink. See? The car is pink. Uh, blue, blue. And also blue. You're right. Is that blue? Orange. No, that's purple. Yeah, there's orange there. You're smart. You know your colors. The color blue. Yeah, blue. Yeah. <laughs> they could be big. Say Auntie Nurse Ruby. Say hi, Auntie Nurse Ruby. Big. Say hi, Auntie Nurse Ruby. Big. Say hi, Auntie Nurse Ruby. Big. No, no biscuit today. Oh, oh, cookie. Cookie. Up, up. Up. Up, cookie. 
no, no, no. You, you, you will not go any further. I go and watch, go and watch, go and watch, go and watch, go and watch Coco. Let Mama want to clean the mess. See, see mess, see mess, lots of mess, see mess, see mess. See you. It's you, right? It's you. A messy. You see, mess. You. A carrot. Yes. Carrot. Yes. A see. See. Wish, a wish, carrot day. Wish the mothers happy Mother's Day, Mama. See. A carrot do. Yes. Wish a them happy Mother's Day. A carrot do. Say happy Mother's Day, Mama. A carrot do. What's that? What are you saying? A color two. A color two. Yeah, color, color two. Color, color two. Yeah. Big, big. Oh, a purple blue. See, this is pink. Oh, but blue. Blue. <laughs> Let's clean your mouth, okay? Oh. Come on. Oh. See? It's sticky. It's sticky. Mama, clean your mouth. Come on, Maje. Oh, wow. See, you, see. See, mess. Ew. Mm. Ew. Ew. Let's clean another mess. Ew. See, see. <laughs> Come on. Let's see another mess. Let's clean another mess. Oh. <gasps> We did yes. it. We cleaned the mess. Majesty's clean now. Majesty's clean now. Yeah. You want to eat chicken? Okay, let me give you chicken. Shh, chicken. Okay. I gotta eat your chicken. Yeah, eat your chicken. Let me pour my rice. Okay. Thank you for gracing our live stream. And this is boiling. Boiling already. <sighs> Ouch. See how it's boiling. See? So this is the right time to pour the rice. Okay. Ofura in my feet down. Good evening, sis. The rice is already half cooked, so I guess this water should be enough. It's Indian basmati, not sticky rice. I love to watch him talking. He says so many words now. You're not living with us, or you're not even our neighbor. If you're our neighbor, you'll be hearing Majesty talking. Talkative. <laughs> he doesn't like mess. So when he sees a mess, he'll be like, see mess, see mess. But he likes making mess. <laughs> that boy is something else. surprised he still remembers um the name of his cousin that we visited bosnia before we went to nigeria isidora <laughs> remember isidora right the one that they had baptism together so i'm going to pour my carrots This is how it looks like. His vocabulary has increased. Oh, definitely, my dear. So, this is how it looks like, guys. And then, 
I'm going to cover it and reduce the light. And you know, Darko has nice, um, um, um Darko is nice in English more than me. Actually, Darko is English is not his first language, guys. English is the second language, but he speaks English very, very well. So that one too helps Majesty. So this is this is our chicken. This chicken looks big before you cook it, and then when you finally cook it, it looks small. Oh yeah, come and get one one with cold minerals. Use and they calm down. Hmm? Everybody grab. What is she making? Someone. I'm making jollof rice, my dear. And I already fried my chicken. It takes the grace of God for one not to finish this chicken before the food is actually ready. <laughs> oh my goodness. Looks delicious. Mm. I know, right? If I eat this one, I'll continue eating. Not good. So let's keep, let's keep it all. So we'll end the live stream, right? What do you think? Should we end it? I want to wash my dishes. So that before I finish washing it, everything is come clean is he learning yours and Darko's native languages as well oh you must be new to my page I'm speaking my language to him and Darko as well so this English he learns is when Darko and I are communicating because of course it's English we have to communicate with to each other right and when he watches his um educational videos and also when i visit friends because we communicate with english that is when majesty learns english we also have an um, arabic guy coming here to the house so when he speaks arabic <laughs> majesty try to learn some words <laughs> but it's because he doesn't come all the time so had it been um he's coming out around all the time i think majesty will pick up some arabic words so that is just it. I'm glad he's doing great. That is why I try to bring him around some kids, especially his peers, his peers, so that they can socialize. Because if you don't <laughs> allow a child to socialize, at that age they will become introvert and be a bully. So I have to force my lazy ass out of the house. <laughs> oh my goodness it was well oh. comfort Godwin I can testify to that my dear chicken is the greatest temptation I have ever experienced I know, right? I know, my sister. So that's why I'm holding my long throat. How old is Majesty? Oh, by the grace of God, Majesty will be two years old by 20th of this month. Will you put him in preschool? Of course, definitely. Definitely, you will. No, Nemoy, don't do that. Me too, I, I pick up some of his father's language. Like Nemoy, Nemoy means no. Don't do something like that. And Darko, when he's speaking with my mom too, he uses some Nigerian words. <laughs> so one day, my mom was... Not one day, that was the day before yesterday. My mom was speaking with him, and my mom called him Umoko Chakedu Kimer. My husband said, Fine, no. My mom asked me to ask him, Does he know the meaning of Umoko Cha? 
I was asking Darko, do you know the meaning of Mumo culture? Darko said, yeah, it's um, a football player in Nigeria. I told my mom what Darko said, and she started laughing. And then Darko said, yeah, Wokocha, JJ Okocha. I told my mom, my mom said, okay, no, not that JJ Okocha. <laughs> <laughs> not that JJ Okocha. What culture means a fair person or a white person? <laughs> oh my goodness. Or a light skinned person, whatever you call it. <laughs> and then Darko said JJ Okocha is more culture. They learn fast when they are growing up because the brain is still developing. I know, right? He's learning, you know. Hey, he's learning. That's why this, this, this stage right now, you teach him everything and he's learning. Imagine me speaking my, my language to him, he understands. Happy Mother's Day to you too, thank you. You guys need to be around to see where my um, Darko and my mom, my mom are communicating. You guys will just be laughing. Sometimes my mom doesn't even understand his accent or all the word wordings. <laughs> but Darko understands my mom because of me. You understand now, because of me, because of the way we speak. So he he understands my mom, and the ones he doesn't understand, he'll be like, Obi, can you try to explain to me what she said? And then when I tell him, he'll be like, okay. Eh. And then he'll continue. Yes, so, so he must put oh, oh, oh inside there. Hey, happy Mother's Day to you too, Annie. Darko and I, we are planning for my mom and Darko's mother to meet. Oh my goodness. I, I, I have to be on live from that so that we can see how they're gonna communicate. <laughs> Me being one of the first black people to visit Darko's village and Darko be one of the black um, white people to visit to get married in my village. <laughs> my mom has not, okay, my mom has seen white person before. That was the doctor that treated my sister. I can't wait to see. <laughs> it will be a whole lot of fun that day. <laughs> oh my goodness. That will be a blessing for them to meet. I know, right? It is my wish for them to meet. So. <laughs> Imagine me and Darko being, inter being, being interpreters. Me, interpreter to my mom, and Darko interpreter to his mom. <laughs> I cannot wait. You done eating it? 
Uh. Cheryl, where is the bone? It, you brought if this plate break eh if this plate break I will sound you pick it up pick it up it's already quite for Can a single father, father be wish a mother be or he have to? Why not? Why not, my dear? Anybody that is playing a motherly figure to anybody is a mother, so they deserve to be wished happy mothers. Day. Whether young or old, children, why not? Majesty, that thing you're doing is it good? Eh? I can't make a canty kit as soon as I'm wired and I'm wired canty. I'm going to shave her for us. Poor kit. Majesty, shave her for us. Shave her for me. Can you see some? One, two. Where's my own sugar? Mess. Messy. Messy. It's not messy, the football player. I mean mess. You make mess in this kitchen. Don't worry, I'm done. If I finish washing plates, you use mop and mop this place. Then bring mop in the kitchen. So you mop the kitchen for me. Let me get mop. You mop the kitchen. Eh? You mop it. The milk, what's this? Oh, take, take it, Majesty. Take, clean, take, clean, <laughs> clean like this. Clean, take, oh, yeah, clean. Is that how to clean, Majesty? Go clean over there and pick your bottle. Pick your bottle. Mm -hmm. Pick it up. Give it to me. Give it to me. 
Give me the bottle. Give me butter. Yamu, yamu, yamu. Mess. Put it in the trash. Put the mess in the trash. Mm hmm. Good. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're covering it. Okay. Uh huh. Pick the other mess. Put it there. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Easy. He's, he's even multitasking. He's holding mopping stick in one hand and using the other hand to open the trash. Careful, Majesty. Wait, let me help you. Let me make it easier for you. Okay. Okay, I got this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh-uh. Are you done? You're done? Okay, then keep it in the bathroom. Bathroom? Yeah, go keep it. No, there. Bathroom. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. No, not, not there. There, 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 over there. No, not there. Open the curtain. Okay. Which one is okay? Is that how to clean in your village? Okay. Eh? Okay. Majesty. At least he's learning. <laughs> he was speaking. <laughs> he got tired. He said, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Call. Okay. Me. Somebody will never hear what because they have majesty. <clears throat> Goodness. He says it's okay. That's the last word. Don't mind. He knows what he's doing. This boy. <laughs> I just, I just want him to feel, to feel what I'm doing. He's telling me it's okay. He went and bring the mop again. Mister Ajayi, Ajayi Walker. Eh? Who sent you? Who sent you? Eh? Mommy, mommy. I did not mommy. send you now. Mommy. Yes. Eh? Oh, doors. Mommy. Eh? And then go. Mommy. They stop helping when they are teens. Mommy. Then you fight them. Mommy. I know, right? Just like Joshua and David. Every day you have to be screaming. Watch this. Do this. Do that. Mommy. Mommy. I like. Mommy. <laughs> imagine imagine my younger brothers if you want them to do their work very very well you have to bribe them can you imagine one day i got very mad i said so if they don't bribe you all in this house you're not gonna do your chores huh and when they see that i'm getting mad they start doing it <laughs> Oh my goodness. Mama? Yes? Sister Tata. Where? Tata. Tata is still at work. Where? Yeah. 
Does he want this? No, he better not want to. My guess, guy, keep that in the bathroom now. Go, 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 go. Guy, keep it. Guy, keep it. Where's my cane? Guy. Go keep in the bathroom. Please. Do you like us to fight? Go and keep it in the bathroom. Right, go and keep it in the bathroom. We are done. Go and keep it in the bathroom. To leave him to play with it so that he can enjoy himself or enjoy me or spoil something. Who is shouting there? Oh? I must finish washing my dishes. He's sleepy, yeah. He has not slept this afternoon. Let him go sleep. Yeah, I want to finish washing my dishes. I'm almost done. I'm here. Come. I should come. Okay, wait. Let me finish this. I'm almost done. Okay. I love you too. <laughs> Look at him hugging me. Bed. Bed. Um. You want to go to bed? Okay. I'm coming. I'm coming. Mm, I'm coming. Okay. Give me a few time. I'm coming. Yeah. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm almost done. Washing, cleaning, cleaning. Come. Okay, okay. Uh, uh, come. Majesty is not hungry. 
Mom's worried. The other one is he wants me to leave what I'm doing to carry him. <laughs> Mama? Yes. I want battle. What's that? Battle. Battle? Where is your battle? See. See. Eh? See. Battle. See. Eh? Eh? Battle. Battle. Look. Where is it? Oh, great. I see it. Look. Look. See butter. See butter. Butter. Look. I just want to go put him to bed when I'm done with what I'm doing so that I can rest too. Because <laughs> if I leave this thing now and put him to bed, imagine trying to make your baby sleep and then you sleep off. It's <laughs> as well. Has that never happened to you? <laughs> I'm not ready for that. Let me just rest once and for all. I thought it finished washing because I was able to open it. This boy eh, with that in his hand. Look at water still in the machine.
I already vacuumed the kitchen before I started cooking. So it's just the little things that dropped on the floor. That's why I use this. are draining see it's clean -da -da. <laughs> mm. our rice is almost done our rice is almost done So I think I have to come back online when the rice is cooked, right? Since I'm done cleaning, guys, right? Thank you. Thank you for watching me. <laughs> One day somebody came to the live stream and said, you all have time to watch this lady. Please let me go and do something. Guys, it doesn't mean you guys are stupid. I'm telling you the truth. You're not stupid. It's... it's it means people you don't know are, are cheering you up, supporting what you're doing. Thank you. Thank you. Are you going out for Mother's Day? We didn't know that it's Mother's Day. I'm just hearing Mother's Day because I thought we've already celebrated Mother's Day. Um, when was that? March, right? And then earlier, earlier May, they did Mother Day, Mother's Day in Nigeria. Is it Mother's Day or International Women's Day? I don't know. It's kind of confusing. Uh, we'll just stay in our house and watch movie. I want to thank each and every one of you. Thank you. Enjoy the nap. No, I will come online when I'm done cooking so that you see how the rice looks like. Okay? So after showing you guys, I can enjoy. So see you soon. Bye.